Hi, my name's Wendy Miller from the UK Mixed Martial Arts Federation. And following much discussion with many key figures of the MMA world, I'd like to present to you the UK MMAF syllabus for MMA. Now many of you will have questions and concerns about the introduction of the syllabus, why it's required, who it's for, and how it was devised. My aim is to answer those questions here. So why have a syllabus? The syllabus serves as part of the progression pathway for our sport. When someone new comes into the sport, they need to receive the appropriate training, information, instruction in order to train and participate safely. The aim of this syllabus is to enable them to safely participate in MMA as either an athlete, competitor, coach or official. In order to be recognised by national and international sporting bodies, we are required to have a structure in place for progression. The syllabus serves as a coaching structure and where an athlete is intending to, to compete, it is a record of their assessed competency. This is part of setting standards within the sport. Most of you will have seen people who are unprepared, unskilled and unsafe competing and the aim is to set standards that will reduce the instance of this recurring. The syllabus has been created by a group of experienced coaches from around the UK, many of whom already had their own syllabus. We also consulted with coaches and athletes who were unable to attend and utilise their input. Two days of discussion resulted in this set of techniques being agreed amongst the group. We utilised basic principles for training, along with the statistics from the first 168 UFC shows, around 2,700 matches, and we agreed the following. The training structure should move from simple techniques to complex techniques, with the ability at higher levels to string techniques together in drills and sparring. We also agreed that we would categorise techniques as must have, should have, could have, and nice to have. For instance, a jab would be a must have, and a jump turn wheel kick would be a nice to have. The focus in this syllabus is on the must haves and the should haves. The nice to have techniques are for the individual coaches to add in at their own discretion. The syllabus will serve as a guide for coaches, so please bear this in mind. This is not an instructional. The techniques shown in the syllabus and the method of their execution is for guidance only. There will be variation within styles and clubs and methods of delivery. For instance, a karate base kicker may deliver their techniques differently to a Thai based athlete. The syllabus does not have to be all encompassing. It contains the basic techniques that are required in order to safely and effectively compete. The syllabus will be regularly up for review by head coaches from around the country and we have agreed on a time frame of two years. In the syllabus, the level of a student is recognised by the Roman numeral system as a standard. It was decided that MMA needed a unique identification system and that belts in MMA were not required. It was agreed that an amateur fighter should have a minimum of 10 matches before being eligible for a professional licence, that their licence would be agreed by a panel of three head coaches. I'd like to thank you for listening. And should you have any queries, you can contact me, Windy Miller, at bluewavemartialarts.com and I will try and help you. I'd also like to thank the coaches and athletes who are involved in writing and filming the syllabus. Everybody involved in this syllabus has given their time and expertise for free in order that they can help the sport they love progress. Please enjoy watching this presentation as much as we've enjoyed making it.